Hey everyone, in this video I will be reviewing the 6 inch Kong with Battle Axe toy from Godzilla vs Kong. And these retail for $10 and can be found at your local Walmart if you're lucky because Walmart has been uh, a total crapshoot lately when trying to hunt for figures. But anyways, turning to the back of the box. Now this description here I think it just gives a description of uh, the movie or the, the figures or whatever. I don't know. I noticed they're always the same. It says the same uh, sentence or text on the upper portion of the boxes. But when you look under the name of the figure for each toy, it gives you a different description. So Kong with Battle Axe. Feel the mighty strength of Kong as he enters the ultimate battle royal against Godzilla with bone-crushing primal strength and a legendary new weapon fit for King. Alright, and he has his legendary battle axe that he obtained from Hollow Earth. Battle damage reveal. The other figures in the toy line, the 6-inch toy line that you can currently collect now that are supposed to be at Walmart if... Uh, other collectors and scalpers have not bought them up already. But anyways, let's open Kong with Battle Axe up. So there he is, the 6-inch Kong with Battle Axe. Upon opening the figure, um, the only assembly that is required is for this piece for his uh, battle damage feature there on his arm or by his upper shoulder. Just gotta follow the pattern and make sure you insert that correctly. There we go. And just kind of squeeze the rest on there. And I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that part's kind of loose so you can actually easily take that part off with your uh, thumbnail or your fingernail. And I'm not sure if that part can go in all the way. Okay, it does. You just gotta really squeeze it on there. And of course, his battle axe, which can only be inserted into his right hand, not his left hand. So it's just like with uh, Mega Punching Kong there in the background, his uh, battle axe can only go into his right hand. So that just squeezes in there like so. Very little effort. Doesn't really feel that difficult to insert. But um, I like how this guy is very articulated and definitely has some more articulated joints than let's say the bigger figures and uh fun fact but this is like my first six inch gods or first six inch king kong toy i have ever owned and of course the mega punching kong was my first giant kong figure as a kid i was mostly a godzilla fan so i always had lots of uh, godzilla toys when i was a kid and i enjoyed the, some of the king kong uh, some of the King Kong movies, but I never had any of the toys. Um, and this is kind of like a first for me. And I, I do think Playmates did a good job with this Kong figure from Godzilla vs. Kong. Alright, so take a closer look at this figure. There's an open mouth there. Fierce looking eyes. Head is articulated, which is nice. The arms can go in and out like that. Up and down. Uh, he has elbow articulation right there. They do swivel at the joint. And for the fist, they do rotate, which is nice. Uh, no midsection articulation there for the legs. They go forward and back, but uh, not very far. It's very limited. So they go forward about that much. Yeah and goes back about that much because the sculpt of his buttocks is kind of hindering a lot of that articulation from going back super far. But check this out, he has knee articulation, which is cool because uh, he definitely uses some knee action during that Hong Kong battle. Uh, no ankle articulation, but uh, you could do that with the legs too. Kind of swivel that part. But that's about it. Uh, nothing for the ankles. And uh, I do think Playmates did a great job with the articulation for the 6-inch Kong figure. Uh, matching him up with the Heat Ray Godzilla matches up fairly well. And you can kind of recreate that scene from the trailers, which was also in the film. Where you just... Ah, boo! Alright, 
very nice, very nice. So, uh, very nice Kong figure. I do dig it quite a bit. I'm not sure if I like this one more or the Mega Punching Kong more, because the Mega Punching Kong has lights and sounds, which I could demonstrate for you guys right now. Just gotta find that button. But the smaller guy has a bit more articulation and he still looks just as awesome. All right, so I could match him up with other uh, six inch figures I own, like this King Ghidorah from Bandai Movie Monsters or Bandai Movie Monster series. Let's see how he stacks up with King Ghidorah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, fairly decent height. Definitely could use uh, Kong to battle King Ghidorah there. Let's try Destroya next. Hmm. I want to say he's taller than Destroya here. He probably is. No, they're almost around the same height. Huh. Here he is with Mechagodzilla and Gigan. Also, I should mention that uh, there's like two other versions of the six inch Kong out there. There is one that comes with a jet. And I think that one has an open or closed mouth. I can't exactly re remember, but the Hong Kong battle version comes with, uh, I think similar battle damage feature for his arm, but he has a closed mouth, uh, purple paint on his arms, and he comes with the same battle axe, but I think it's it has purple paint on it instead of blue. But it's mostly the same figure you're getting, just with a closed mouth. And here is Six Inch Kong with uh, Space Godzilla and Battlesnake from the Raw 10 line from Todd McFarlane. And here's Kong standing next to Arch Belial. And I don't have this figure open up yet. But when I do, I will definitely compare Kong with uh, Warbat as soon as I get to that review. All right, so that completes this video review for the six inch Kong with Battle Axe. And one more thing I think I should point out, even though it's not really a big deal, but uh, the part where his battle damage is supposed to be, now there's no small slot there to make it uh, easier to get your fingernails or your thumbnails into to peel off the uh, flesh there to reveal Kong's uh, battle damage parts, which it makes it a bit difficult. You really have to dig in there with your nails to peel that part off. So it's very unlike the six inch Godzilla with the heat ray accessory. Cause if you notice, see there's a small slot there. I don't know if that's intentional. Uh, I think that's very intentional, but that I feel like that's there to make it easier to get your thumbnail into so you could easily peel that off. And then, you know, that would go back on uh, quite easily. But yeah, Godzilla has like that little slot there. For the Kong with Battle Axe, he doesn't have that on his arm. So you really have to dig your nails in there just to peel that part off to reveal the battle damage. And let's see, to get it back on, it's a bit tricky. My camera's going out of focus, there we go. So just kind of shove that under there first and then squeeze it on. There we go, now it's good as new. So yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to point it out. Um, I didn't think it was a big deal, but I felt like people should know since this is a, a Blah. Since this is a uh, video review for the 6 inch Kong with Battle Axe from Playmates Toys, which retails once again for 10 bucks, you can find it at Walmart. And also, there's many different options of the 6 inch Kong figure. There's a Kong with a jet that you can buy, there is a Hong Kong battle version with a uh, like, small amount of purple paint on his arms, and I believe the Battle Axe is painted in purple not the whole thing but just the uh just that part of the axe where it has like a dorsal plate from one of the previous ancestors of godzilla i guess and he has a closed mouth for the hong kong battle version i believe but this version is still pretty cool though i do think 
he is worth buying if you don't want any of the other versions. And if you want a 6 inch Kong to battle some other 6 inch monsters that you might happen to own in your collection. But yeah, that completes this video review. Thank you for watching. And uh, the next figure I'm going to open up and review is the 6 inch Hong Kong Battle Godzilla which uh, should have the same amount of articulation and features as this guy right here. So it's pretty much the same figure, just different uh, paint and he has translucent parts. So I do think he looks really neat. All right, thanks. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.